Hello, hello, and good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Flavor. Today, I want to bring you in because I want to talk to you about this little bean, which I find so interesting. I found it at the Asian market. It is native to India, and it is called moth bean. You spell it like you would moth, M-M-O-T-H, but it's also known as matki. M-A-T-K-I, I believe, and known as Turkish Grum. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but in any case. So this is what the bean looks like, you guys. I thought it was very interesting, and I love me some beans, so I thought I'd give it a try. Now, with that being said, these beans, when you buy them like this, you have to soak them for at least eight hours. So I soak mine overnight. I rinsed them a couple of times, and this is what they look like, as you can see. Look at that. I've never had these before, but I was reading about the benefits of it. It is loaded with magnesium and uh, vitamin B complex. It's got like vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and I believe 9, if I'm not mistaken. So it has a lot, a lot of health benefits. From everything that I've read, it says that they have a nutty flavor as well. On this end, I have some leftover ham, uh, the ham bone from the holidays that I froze. So I'm going to be boiling it with that for extra flavor. Okay, guys, so our beans are tender. Let me just show you. Look at that. Um, the flavor in here smells really nice because of the bones that I put in. The, did I already, I wonder if I showed you that piece, but I did put it to boil with the ham bones that I have from the holidays, and I'm just going to show you what I'm getting ready to do. They are already tender, so on this end, I have the ham that I have cut up, I have some diced potatoes, kabasha squash, carrots, celery, onions, a little bit of my Devilish Troy hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce that you like. Since I make mine, I use this one. And you're gonna add it to taste, of course. I have here some sofrito. If you don't have sofrito, you can make some by simply blending garlic, um, cilantro, bell peppers, onions, and a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of olive oil and you have a simple uh, sofrito, and then salt to taste. I'm gonna get ready to saute the vegetables, and then I'm gonna be adding it to my pot. I forgot to mention that I have here some frozen cubes of cilantro. This is just plain cilantro that I uh, put through the blender, and then I freeze them in cubes so I have them ready. All right, guys, the first step is gonna be to add my oil to my pan, enough just to saute, like you see me do here. The next step, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit, my oil, put this like this. Then I'm going to take some of my sofrito. I'm sorry guys, this is the best angle that I have for this, so this is what I'm going with. Okay, so I'm going to add some of my sofrito to my oil about so much because it is a big pot okay and i'm gonna kind of sofre which is saute i'm gonna add my onions as well which have been pre-chopped and all to it i'm going to add one of my um cilantro Look how big that is. But this is perfect because that's a big pot that I'm making of these beans. I will say, I tasted a little bit of the beans and they do have a nutty taste, but it's not bad at all. I'm just treating this like I would my lentils when I make my lentil stew. That's really how I'm treating these beans, the same way. So, there you go. It smells amazing in here. I'm going to add my carrots and everything else that's going to go in. Just like you see me do here. 
Okay, so you see how beautiful this looks? This is going into this pot. All I'm going to do is uh, move this stuff over. Let me put this here so it doesn't burn my counter. Like so. I'm going to move this pot over like so. And then we're going to dump all of this goodness in here. This. Let me turn it around so you can see. This is all that I am doing. You're going to add salt to taste. As I said before, um, every one taste buds is different. So you want to add it to whatever your preference is. I don't know about anybody else, but as I got older, I, I was never one of these people <clears throat> that kept the salt shaker on the table when we were having dinner. I never had to do that, but for some reason, I find myself having to add salt to everything that I eat. I don't know what that's about, but there you have it. I think it's part for the course as you get older. I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is gonna be amazing, you guys. I can't wait to try these beans. I've never, like I said, I've never had them before, but I'm very eager to try. Okay, let's put a little bit of my devilish Troy. I don't want it too hot, so I'm just adding a tiny bit for this big pot. Then to it, I'm going to add my ham and then I'm gonna let it simmer. Um, once it simmers for a while, then I'll taste to see if it needs salt and then I will do so at that moment. Okay, now, I am gonna pair this up with non bread when I get ready to, guys, let me bring you closer. I need you to see, hopefully you can see what a, what, how beautiful this is. Let me... Oh my Lord, you guys, it is done. I cannot tell you how delicious this is. I mean, look at that. This is absolutely, I mean, it'll wake up the dead. That's how good this is and loaded, loaded with vitamins and calcium. So like I said before, I will put a link so you can read about them and you can see what they look like and see what the benefits are of this amazing um, moth mackie bean. Anyway guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that helps my channel grow and um, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.